Hey guys, so I thought I would just shoot what is probably going to be the last video in the series and finish up by talking to you a little bit about navigation and signaling. So I've got my multi-tool, this is kind of have to have this all the time. Same multi-tool as before. Got my little spark light, you know, I would not recommend starting a signal fire anywhere. Uh, that can just get way out of hand way quick. There's my little compass. So this stuff is kind of important for when you're trying to find your way around, especially if you're kind of in the middle of nowhere, say down there where the trail ends. The thing with navigation is that there's not much you can do really in terms of tools. It's about 3 p.m. so you see the sun over there, you know the sun's gonna set down that way. Basic stuff like that. You see where the sun rises and sets. If you clear out a bare spot, you can draw, like, big arrows or something if you're going a certain way. Another thing you can do, and I've seen people do this, is to break uh, branches or to sort of tie branches and point them in a certain way. I don't really want to do that out here. If you're going to take a, a turn down there, you're going to go down that way. You could take this big branch up here and snap it and kind of point it that way. A lot of human settlements are near water, uh, like right down there, there's a little sluice way. If you follow the water up, usually water will flow high to low, unless there's like a lock or something in the way. So, you know, as you follow it back, you're gonna be going up and up and up and up until you hit a mountain range or a hill or a pump or something like that. The other thing you can do is take a piece of the space blanket and use your multi-tool and cut off a few narrow sticks like this and tie them together and tie the piece of space blanket to each corner and you can actually fly that around as a kite. You could find a clearing, like up here, fly that around as a kite if, if you want to get someone's attention. You could always use stones and put a big help or something like that in, in a clearing like this. Let's take over to the sluice way for a moment. But the big thing you can do, you know, here's the sluice way that goes into the pond. It's nothing too special, but yeah, it's a little deep in there. Sometimes there are fish. Sometimes. That's all right down by the water's edge. Oh, it's a nice day today. So one thing I told you was in the kit that I didn't really have any particular use for was this tiny little magnet. It's a very strong sort of rare earth magnet. If you take a needle, just a normal sewing needle, you can just kind of rub it on here a few times. It's already done, I think. But you can magnetize it. And then you can use that to make a little compass. You can float it in there. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. You just hold the little magnet in one hand and just stroke the needle across it in the in one direction. Draw it like one way and then take it off and draw it one way again. Do that for like a minute. Do it about a hundred times or so. Pull off like a little leaf. So what you do is you want to put the, the leaf in the water there. Just float it. Drop the needle on it. Hey, that's pretty accurate. Turn it all the way around and it's still going to spin back. Just sort of on the note of signaling, anything that's artificial looking will work pretty well. Get strips of the space blanket, tie them around uh, tree limbs and stuff and just mark your path. That's that's a good way to, if you have to move somewhere, you can let people know where you're going in case people are looking for you or trying to find you. Uh, so I mean that's always good stuff. You'll leave a path in the brush too, but like you should mark it. When it comes to navigation, I mean there is just some basic stuff like how low the sun is in the sky that can help you determine the direction and the time of day so that's pretty nice the thing with navigation is it's sort of less about the fancy tools and more about just kind of being aware of your surroundings and being aware of, of stuff like that you can't really put navigation in a box if you're navigating you know you're trying to get from point a to point b and then if you're signaling you want to stand out Inside the kit, too, I want to include a little tiny signal mirror because you can look through a little hole in, in, in a signal mirror and actually use it to signal airplanes. And I mean, that's a little bit dangerous, but you know, if, if worse comes to worst, 
that's not a bad idea. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give a few closing thoughts to this little playlist series. I've gotten through pretty much everything I wanted to go through here. Remember this? This is the inventory list from the kit. It was the very first video. And I've been through pretty much all of it. The only thing that I haven't really gone through, I would highly recommend getting a book like this. I've had this book for a few years. It's a little outdated now. Just in terms of like medical stuff, that's something that I know a little bit, but I can't really help you with and I can't really teach it to you. On here and um, in the kit, I do include some really basic medical stuff. A couple of band-aids, a sterile blade, some sewing needles, safety pins, stuff like that. This book is really great because it gives you a really good kind of rundown of stuff and in sort of all kinds of climates and stuff like that. So this is good. Obviously this won't pack into a kit. It's a good thing to have just to know. It's a good thing to read and kind of have a mental working knowledge of. Again, there's a lot of material here, but just basic stuff. So the last thing that I wanted to show you, this would fit sort of right in the side, but it's a little, actually it's a little piece of candy uh, and I have it written down there. And this was something that a friend of mine had ages ago and I think it's a really good one. I've actually read up about it a little bit and it's in that book is if you're in a situation where you're lost in the wilderness or you're thrown into the wilderness or you're in a situation that's kind of not good, the worst thing you can do is panic. And that's a really big part of how you're gonna survive and, and get out of there by actually thinking and not freaking out about something that's happened or whatever. It could be a bad scene. To have something like this, it's small and it's lightweight and it won't go bad, but it's a little bit of sugar and it could just help someone keep it together um you know if you give this to someone or if you yourself need it if you're panicking or whatever this could just help you focus it sounds kind of dumb maybe but sometimes having a little piece of candy or a little piece of chocolate or something just something to remind you of something good or something that tastes good or sort of is good that could go a long way toward that so that's why even though it might take up the space of like a compass or a piece of candle or something I think it's important. But yeah, so that's kind of it for this.